Hi guys, it's Yu's name Kate and welcome back to my channel. Today I am at a Pirelli track day on the 18th of July which just so happens to be my birthday and I was kindly invited by Pirelli to test out the new Diablos and ride them on track but unfortunately I still have labyrinthitis really bad. I feel pretty drunk right now so riding my track bike around Donington as fast as I can is probably not the wisest idea but I absolutely love the gang at Pirelli they're such a nice bunch and Ducati UK are here as well and a lot of my friends ride in said Ducatis we've got Ruby Rides we've got um, Chronicles of Claudia who is she currently has a bun in the oven but she's just come to say hi just like I have and there's also R1 Liz, Lamchop Rides, Motorbob, we've got Luna, there's lots of people here. So it's just like a nice catch up and I want to show you guys like behind the scenes of a Pirelli track day tyre launch. So yeah, I thought I'd take you guys along. So stick around and stay tuned. <laughs>
Chops is not applauding me. He is actually just syncing his mics. <laughs> so apparently, I've heard that Chopsy is absolutely flying. We've got Luna going out on the Panagula. But you guys.
guys think I'm short? Luna is a lot shorter than me, so she makes it work. Hello everybody, Rob from Moto Bob. And I thought I'd show you the bike. Well, Kate asked to see the bike, not knowing what I was riding, probably thinking it'd be some goofy old retro. As my usual style, but actually I'm on this Z900 today, which has been race prepped by MSS, who provides some of the Kawasaki race bikes. So it's pretty much a stock Z900. It's got the you know regular engine, regular frame, but they've done some nice little bits. So it's got KTEC suspension. I think they've done a little bit to the brakes. We've got braided hoses. We've got new pads in it, but it does feel good on the brakes. Uh, road tires today, so no tire warmers or anything. Uh, these are the Rosso fours that they're, I think, doing the event for, right? Like, uh, so that everyone gets to try them out. But they're fine. They're, I mean, I'm not super fast. Maybe if you were pushing the boundaries of grip, uh, you might want something stickier on a race prep bike like this. But for someone like me who, well, I'm doing all right today, actually. Better than usual. Uh, although I did fall off it. You didn't? In the garage, though. Okay. Cause it's got no side stand. So I put my leg over it and then I just killed over. I'll send you the GoPro so you can insert yes. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty. Out of the bar. Ready? One, two, three. Up we go. Where's your side stack? It's someone to catch me. Work quite fast enough. And then we've got, uh, yeah, KTEC suspension at the back. They've got their own custom little seat here with a thin pad, and it does bring the seat height up a bit. I tend to find when you're riding road bikes on the track, if your bum's too far forward and the bar's too far back, even if you try and get in a tuck, you feel a bit daft. But uh, this is perfect. It just gets your bum up and back a bit. Only steering damper. Keep it nice and steady. Uh, little race buttons, quick throttle. And then it's got a spark kit exhaust. Do you want to hear it? It's got the baffling because we're on a limit, noise limit today. Sorry, mate. <laughs> As I said, it's got quick turn throttles. <laughs> anyway, it's also got race shift on it, which uh, it, has it? it has got, oh. which is the first time I've ever ridden a bike with race shift and uh, flipping heck, it's, I have not got used to it yet. No. I've uh, gone down the box when I'm meant to be going up the box. Yeah. I've gone up the box when I'm meant to be going down the box. I was following some of the uh, riders here and they sort of said, you know, we'll show you around the track and give you a few pointers. And I was doing all right. I wasn't embarrassing myself. This was after I fell off it in the garage. And, uh, you know, I was obviously pretty slow compared to them, but then, you know, I just miss a gear, shift in the wrong direction. And they're looking around like, where's he gone? <laughs> so yeah, it's been a mixed bag, but thank you to Pirelli, Kawasaki. What a treat. And thanks to Kate for having me in the video. <laughs> So I've collared Ruby and I just want to find out how her day went. Ruby, how did it go? Honestly, we couldn't have asked for a better day to try the Ducatis for the first time. It was such a nice taster to get on Ducatis, the Panigale V4S and the Panigale V2 and the Street Fighter. Such a beautiful day and we've got the right tyres. We were running super courses, Rosso 3s and 4s. So I had a brilliant day. I mean, I wish it was probably like maybe 5 or 10 degrees cooler. cooler. <laughs> but we can't complain, right? It's better than rain. So I had a blast. Uh, so, good. so which was your favourite bike out of the Ducatis that you've ridden today? You would think, I'd say, the V4S. But actually on this very circuit, the Street Fighter was ideal. The V4 or V2? The V2, um, they didn't have a V4. Oh, did they not? I don't know. <laughs> Just the V2 Street Fighter, yeah. Wow. Yeah, really lovely because it's um, down-geared and 
uh, pokey. The throttle was really pokey and handles beautifully. And even on the straights, it was nice, could tuck in. So yeah, I really love that around here. Yeah, I have to say, like watching you, like you really suit it. Really? Like so much, yeah. Do you think, did, did I look like I was more comfortable on it than the yeah. V? Yeah. I think so, yeah. The V4 rest I thought was, uh, you know, too big a bike for the circuit. Um, didn't get out of third. You know, once or twice you get to third and that's it, you have to downshift again. Uh, but on the um, on the Street Fighter, I felt like I could use more of the power and the gearbox. So yeah, the, v, um, the V2 the Street Fighter is the winner for me. So Ruby, I was going to ask you about the tyres because obviously this is like, you know, a Diablo mm. Rosso day, like sort yeah. of launch with the tyres. And I was going to say, how do you find the new tyres? But I feel like you've been riding like on all the different Ducatis mm. today and they've all got different members of mm. the Diablo Rosso family like on them. Yeah, to be honest, we were alternating bikes on each session, so I couldn't give direct feedback yeah. about the, the specific, the specific tyres. Um, but I've always loved um, Pirelli Super Corsas and Pirelli Rosso 3s and 4s. Um, and honestly, like they stuck to the tarmac like mm -hmm. glue so had no issues and I was worried the temperature being 40 odd yeah um, I was worried that it it's would start slipping. slipping but maybe at my level I didn't you know I didn't know <laughs> no slippage yeah no slippage um, so yeah they've been brilliant um, and it's probably they're probably the only tires I would want to use on a track yeah and usually I do use the super on the track yeah I'm pretty much the same, like yeah. Metzler, Pirelli, yeah. I'm a bit of a, kind of stuck in my ways with yeah. what brand I use. So. Yeah. On the road I use the M9RRs, mm -hmm. uh, which are great for the road, um, but yeah, no, it's been a brilliant day, brilliant bikes, had a blast. Awesome, that's so good to hear, thank you Ruby. No worries. Well guys, the Pirelli day is over and all I can say is I'm absolutely devastated that I couldn't ride. It's been amazing. Yeah, it's been hot, but I would have just sucked it up and lived my best life on track. But it was great to see Chopsy. It was great to see Motor Bob. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed their footage, saying as I couldn't put any of my laps on there because there was none. But yes, until the next time, guys, take care, ride safe, and see you soon.